The rising of the sun marks another day at Reach Out Mbuya Parish in the heart of Uganda. To jumpstart the day, staff who in most cases are clients as well, convene with other new patients to connect the body and mind. This program is unique in the sense that it offers free medical, social, spiritual and emotional support to HIV positive persons. If you're starting ARVs, you should disclose for these reasons. They will help you, someone when someone knows you're sick, will help you to take your drugs well. To those ones who are positive, open their status for supportive love. Because once you open your status, all people will have love for you. You get treatment. And once you open the status, the stigma will be broken. Robert Ngole, a teacher by profession, is a client here. The clinic cares for over 2,500 HIV-positive persons, up from just 14 in 2001. The increase in persons seeking antiretroviral therapy posed a challenge. Limited medical personnel forced the organization to accept volunteers, who in most cases are clients themselves. Nurses also double up as doctors to match the growing demand. I started the ARV in 2004, March, and my CD4 count was only one. So I continued getting my medication and my life came back, and I, I was put to be a daily literacy teacher. I've been teaching the adults. Then from there again, I started working in the community on HIV awareness, creating awareness and giving testimonies. We can prescribe, we've been through the sessions of ARVs, ART, side effects and all that, but every client that is starting ARVs, we sign then the doctor counter signs. Buya Parish staff pride themselves on not only treating their disease, but healing the soul as well. The community in return does not shy away from visiting the clinic. A beneficiary of the program, Robert, separated from his wife, believes abstinence, if infected, is the key to an AIDS-free generation. Many people use it, uh, maybe two to three days, the following day they, they go without a call. Inside these walls, the community has learned to appreciate that being HIV positive is not the end, but rather a new beginning. The staff has also learned that love, care and support is a useful ingredient that can move mountains. The message is clear, reach out, and that's exactly what the staff at Mbuya Parish in Nakala Division of Uganda have dedicated themselves to helping the local community realize a second chance and have hope of a better tomorrow. Join me next week as I take you through yet another initiative by the parish to ensure the locals are self-independent, that is, financially speaking. Katina Chenga for Channel One, Beyond the Epidemic. It doesn't matter what job you do, as long as it's an honest living. At least, that is what a majority of vulnerable women displaced from northern Uganda during the Civil War believe. In the heart of Nakala Division of Uganda, skilled jobs are hard to come by. And so, the women contend with crushing rocks for just 500 shillings in Uganda currency, which converted to Kenyan currency is 20 shillings a day. <laughs> Agnes Achilo, a mother of six, is HIV positive. This makes it increasingly difficult for her to spend long hours crushing rocks. So it became imperative to seek an alternative business venture. As old as we are, uh, financially we may not be able to support our grandchildren and the child and, uh, and biological children. I am a mother of six. 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 
Their Choli tribe in Uganda culturally adorn sophisticated bead designs. This provided a window of opportunity for her and other women like herself to make a variety of jewelry, shopping bags, including eight symbols for sale, both locally and for export. And hence, the Beads of Hope project was born. We are 18 members who benefited this project. When you look at our beads, compared to the size they were brought, they were almost like two kilos by the time we were brought, but this time we estimate them 50 and above. The sky being the limit for these women, garment making as a source of income could not be overlooked. Here again, they put their hands to use and came up with beautiful clothing lines to earn an extra coin and support their families. Although they barely make enough money to sustain themselves, their willpower to do better is amazing. They have a generous heart and never mind sharing the little they have with those in need. Women don't make a lot of money, but they care for themselves and they care for uh, their children. Uh, and they're HIV positive and some of their children are HIV positive. Well, after Hurricane Katrina in the United States, these women sent $100 to the United States to contribute to the response to Hurricane Katrina. Um, that's a partnership. That's, that's a real people caring.